Hello everybody, this is DragonWolf89 and I'm here today to show you a tutorial about adding codes to the PSX Emulation Cheater, a plugin for the EPSX E PlayStation 1 emulator for the computer. For those who don't know or anything about emulation, is that a lot of the old games are now emulated on the computer. You can download most of them for free, depending on what website you go, and I will be posting a few links to the emulator software and the emulator ROMs themselves, as well as other links for the PSX emulation cheater, and I'll post a further tutorial later on about how to set all that up if anybody's interested. Uh, please let me know and I will do so. So, for those who do know about PEC, the original database is very limited on what it has to offer. There are certain games that it has and there are certain games that it does not have. So, we're going to go and I will show you one as a prime example. I have a game here that I've played for a while. It's called Sayuki Journey West. And it's uh, the original Sayuki. It's where the storyline originated from, not the anime that's been on TV. It's nothing even considered. This goes back to, like, the old days. And, yeah. I'm not going to get into that. Anyways, as you can tell, Sayuki is not here. So I will show you how to add such a game. Go ahead and exit out of that. And I'll exit out of this first thing you're going to do is we're going to go to my computer. We're going to local disk C. Program files for those who have a 64-bit computer like myself. You're going to go to x86. If you're running Windows 32-bit then you'll just go to program files. You won't have a dual one here. This is for only for 64-bit Windows systems. So since I'm a 64-bit we'll go to x86 to scroll down to PEC, the PlayStation Emulation Cheater. This is what you want. Let's open it up. This is the original code list here. I suggest you make a backup copy. The easiest way to do that is to right click, go to copy, and then paste it somewhere where you will remember it later down. I have the original here on my desktop. You do not have to do that. You can put it wherever you want, but I'm suggesting you do it for now to make a backup copy, just in case something goes wrong. So, we're going to minimize this. Next, we're going to go to the My Downloads folder, which is in Documents, Downloads. As you can tell, I already have some modified databases here, but please ignore that. I will show you how to set everything up and minimize that. When you open your browser, you will get this, you're going to go to this website. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I have dyslexia and it's hitting me really bad right now. But I will post this link as well. Now mind you, this does not have every game, but it has a good majority of games. I've run into a couple where the game is there, but there are no codes available. So you must be patient. So as I say, we're going to find codes for Sayuki. Sayuki is an S. And what do you know? Here we go. We're going to click on it. Any game that you want will be, it'll be set up exactly like this. You have the game name, info, all the code information, view, and download. And go to download. This will appear. Save your file, close that, and we're going to minimize this. Next, we're going to open up the original cheat database. So open up your folder that you minimized, open up code list. This is the original database. Once you hit enter, we're going to open up the one we just downloaded. That. Aha. Okay. This is just a security warning. It is not a virus. You have nothing to worry about. I've been using this website now for about a month. 
and that I have not ever gotten a virus, so do not think this is so. It is perfectly safe. Hit open to minimize the folder itself. On your modified database, you can go to edit, select all, edit, copy. Now in that blank space that we created here, I'm going to edit, paste. File, save. We're going to close that. We're going to close that. Now let's open up PEC. Go to all, and what do you know? There you go. There are a lot more codes than I thought. And that concludes this tutorial. You can use that for every game on this website if you wish. Make sure that the game you want is not in the database, the original database. And you can just search the database, the easiest way to do it. Let's go to Edit, Find. Say we want uh, Breath of Fire 3. So search and hit Find Next, and there's there you go. You do not want dual games in here because it'll give you problems later on. Make sure it is a singular game only. And that concludes this tutorial. If you liked the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any further tutorials or other things you wish to know about old-fashioned emulation, please let me know, and I will make another video as soon as anybody wants one. Have a great day!